Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can link Prometheus and Grafana to your Go program. So basically after that, you will be able to create Grafana dashboards of your application where you will be able to see your metrics related to your application. So this will involve basically four steps. So the first one is you set up your application with uh, Prometheus metrics. So you will create metrics that are more relevant to your application. Then uh, you have to dockerize your application to create an image of your application. And that image is used to run that application in a container. And then the third step is to use Docker Compose to spin up your uh, application as well as Prometheus and Grafana services. All of them happen locally at your laptop. And the final step is once the Grafana and Prometheus and your application are running, you have to link Grafana with Prometheus to create your own dashboard. So in my case, the application is a simple uh, web server, as you can see here. And here um, I'm creating a metric. So I'm importing the Prometheus package here, as you can see. So the metric, what the metric does is essentially it increases itself every second. So this is essentially simulating something that is happening in your application and you need to keep keep count of it. So for counting things, you have this thing called new counter, which creates a counter. And to set things up, you need to first initialize the counter here. So you have a counter here, as you can see, and its name is my app requests total. And this will be shown up eventually in Grafana. So once you initialize it, you have to call a uh, dot inc to increase it uh, one after the other there are other types of metrics as well not just counter you could, it can be a uh, floating point it can be related to time as well or before you're using the counter you need to register it so this is how you register it prometheus dot must register and then finally you need to open this um, metrics endpoint for your uh, for the prometheus server so essentially four steps to incorporate Prometheus metrics in your in your application. So first is actually defining whatever is your metric, then actually using that and you need to register it and also you need to open up this uh, metric uh, metrics endpoint. So that's the first step is your application. Now you have to uh, dockerize it. So I've written a, this Docker file, a simple Docker file, which simply builds it. So first take up the Colang base image, then you essentially build it and you need to run it. That's it. And then uh, I'll show you a couple of files. So one is the prometheus.yaml file. So that's the config file for Prometheus. So this is the simplest Prometheus config file. Here we are seeing the scrape interval, like how frequently the data is going to be scraped. And yeah, uh, evaluation interval, there are several others as well. And here uh, you are basically giving it a name and a target. So in this case, my application is has a target. So it's my application is called my app and it has uh, 8081 as the metric. So that's the prometheus.yaml uh, file, which is stored in this folder called your Prometheus. And then finally we have Docker Compose file. So in this Docker Compose file, we have three services. As you can see inside under services, we have three different services. So Prometheus, Grafana and my app. Here Prometheus, in using Prometheus, we are using this image, uh, this predefined image um, called prom slash Prometheus. And it has ports, volumes, and command. So inside the command, we are setting the config file as this file. And volume, we are just mapping. So our local Prometheus, so dot slash Prometheus folder here, that is mapped to this uh, Prometheus specific address. Similarly for Grafana, we have image and port. So yeah, that's pretty straightforward. And uh, finally, my app where I'm simply building it and running it and mapping the ports. Okay, so now it's done. Uh, I have already created the Docker file. So you can create the Docker file uh, and store it locally by using this command. So Docker build and followed by this tag, you give a tag to your application. So I'm calling it my app. So for me, it is already done. I'm not going to repeat that. And next, finally, you just have to run the Docker compose file. So simply run docker compose up and now it's going to create every container one after the other oh it seems like it's running so let's open uh, grafana
so localhost 3000 and when you open it the first time there is a setting to give a previous password but the default ones are just admin admin once you uh, log in it will ask you to uh, reset to a new password uh, for now i'm just keeping it and that's initially what you will see in grafana i'll show you how to create a dashboard and actually by by linking it to prometheus so you click on this dashboard section here and create new dashboard so currently there is no no, no dashboard exists so you have to add visualization and initially you need to create a data source so for our case prometheus is the only data source so i'm going to configure a new data source i'm clicking on prometheus here and here uh, you have to give the server url so both of them are running inside docker compose environment so the address will be of this form so prometheus 9090 and prometheus because i'm calling this service as prometheus here as you can see it's named prometheus okay once this is set up uh, there are several other options you can explore then there's this option to save and test and it has actually tested that prometheus api is actually accessible okay so now it is saved and now i can create a dashboard uh, here you can see the uh, data source is actually showing up now okay now let's just start a new visualization so i'm selecting the data source to be prometheus and now uh, what do i have here i have a data a dashboard and uh, a panel so dashboards can have multiple panels so first of all um, I'm going to save the dashboard. So let's say my dashboard, I'm saving it. Currently there's only one panel and it has no data. So let's just edit it to add data. So here inside this metric, you can add your data. So there are multiple uh, default metrics. So like go GC duration. So garbage collector duration. There are several go routines. You can see uh, mem starts memory related. So for my application, I have named it my app requests total as you saw in that application code so for now i'm just going to plot it so if i run run queries it is plotting it and now let's save it and also i'm changing the uh, title to my panel okay so now we have a dashboard so you can zoom in by simply clicking on view and here instead of doing last six hours if i do last six, five minutes you can i can see a lot of points here so every second i'm simply increasing this metric so you are seeing every second there's a new data point as expected and if you go back to uh, the list of dashboards okay, i'm saving it yeah if you go back to list of dashboards here you can see uh, my dashboard so anytime you can click on it and see uh, the panel. So I've just created one panel. You can create more panels. So add visualization. And here, let's say I do uh, go routines. It's not showing up currently but yeah let's just do go gc duration seconds okay maybe because i didn't run the queries so yeah i'm just saving it now and then apply uh, for some reason it's not showing up okay now it is showing up so yeah if i do last five minutes as you can see the, uh, you are seeing uh, the gc duration as well as uh, my specific metric counter so for any application you can set up prometheus and grafana in this way and have a uh, grafana dashboard with various panels